Tedje la? Oh, don. Hmm. Hmm. Tired putting the cowboy boots on in the morning. Some mornings, you know. Good. My gonja. Oh, gotta get those thorns out of your toes first. What day? Pia me jala gaja. <laughs> and we leave Tatum, another town, Plains, Texas. Kinda looks like the last of the last New Mexico way station. I don't think anything's gotten its weight check there in a long time. And out this way, well, let's see. Back that way is Tatum. Goodbye. You've been really great to visit. And out this way is the Texas border and Plains and Brownsfield and uh, Dallas eventually. Louisiana, yeah. We don't get in a hurry and it doesn't do you any good. We just take our time. Try to notice the world around us as we go by. As we're only seeing it this once. You hurry up to get to the next place and you miss what you're walking on right now. Hampton, he loves this green seed grass like tall stuff, man. Loves it. Must have it like sorghum. Riding away from the bus is always a bit hard. In days I'm gonna know I'm gonna only be gone a day or a day and a half. It's not too bad, but still, you know, enjoy the time with the kids and wondering how they're gonna be when I'm gone and you know if they cross the road safe or they playing in the park or someone give them a problem, a tooth hurting or you know fall down hurt themselves or something, you know. So it's I sort of choose on you a little bit. And it's about, it makes hard getting out the door sometimes. Take your time with the kids, you know. Make sure they're okay and everybody's cool. Enjoy the riding, but still, sometimes it's like uh, saying goodbye every couple of days. Someone mentioned to me that the uh, New Mexico Military Institute in Roswell, they train overseas police, and I wonder if they train any Thai police there. Tatum Airport looks pretty grown over, like they need to mow the lawn on the airstrip. Yeah, but small town, lucky to have one at all. Well, that happened a long time ago, nobody believe us. They don't ever tell about how they that night they were out there and said there was a come to my house and it woke me up and said, hey, there's a plane circle and you go out and turn on the green light out at the airport so they can land. So I went out and turned it on and damn if a UFO didn't land on the airstrip. Heck, they wanted some fuel and we give it to them and they took off and went over to Roswell and damn crashed. And Heck, Roswell got all the attention about it, but no one ever mentions that they landed here first and got fuel. Way things are like, I guess. Well, you tell me, from what I can see, there ain't diddle out here. <laughs> About 5,000 telephone poles in a row till we get to the next town. There's a foundation here. Used to be something here by the road. Been years ago. Yeah, you know you're getting close to Texas and Hampton when they bring you beer on the road. <laughs> Not far from Texas now. You are leaving New Mexico. Hasta la vista, baby. All right, so we're coming to like a Texas here, huh? There's the Texas state line, so that must be the Texas state line road. The Bronco Crossing, how about that? First thing you get to when you get to Texas is a bar. Dilapidated New Mexico gives way to dilapidated Texas. <laughs> well, 
is the Bronco gas station and the Bronco meat packing in Mercantile. And then the Hampton, of course. Well, you can sit here and eat Pringles potato chips looking down the state line road. New Mexico, we see you later. You've been good to us. We met both of you. Welcome to Texas. I'll sell you a front porch in Texas real cheap. Maybe some apartment complex. Oh yeah, welcome to Texas. Better days in Bronco. Old places could have been fixed up and kept going. Plains 15, we'll get there tonight in Brownfield 48. And we'll get there tomorrow night maybe. Well, they say Texas is a lot of farming compared to ranch. And uh, here's our first field of sunflowers. It's cotton. It's going to be a while before it's ready to go, it looks like. Well, looks like cotton. We'll pick some cotton then. Well, this is Texas, and this is flat. I mean, like, it's flat. And everywhere you look, it's flat some more. We don't very often look backwards, but that's a pretty glorious sunset over the Panhandle of Texas now. Pretty beautiful. Now here's a quite a bit less substantial uh, tower of some kind and doesn't hard to tell whether they're putting more pipe down or pulling up an old well pipe, like salvage work. Yeah, everywhere you look there's these oil wells and tanks and piping systems and gas systems and so we're going down this road in the dark the 380 for Plains, Texas. And Hampton he stops because there's a cow in the pasture man and he wants to like talk to her. So it's like what would he what would he be saying to her? Like, you know, man, if you got great udders, well, boy, I could I know a bull who'd really dig your cheeks. I mean why would a horse want to stop half into the night in a barbed wire fence to talk to a cow. <laughs> Maybe it's something like, do you have any idea how I can get this son of a bitch off my ass? <laughs> this guy, he's going all the way to town tonight. Yeah, it's probably something like that, you know. Or, have you ever seen a more bull than this? <laughs> Yeah, well, Hampton, he knows at the end of every day he gets green and alfalfa and a good bunch of water. Yeah, he actually picks up in the evening a bit because he knows the later it gets, the closer we are to being done.